Hey there, folks, and welcome back to the I Am CDB project. I, of course, am your host, CDB. You are not. And today we're going to do a, another shaving video with, uh, this is Razor Rock, the Dead Sea, which is a very nice uh, soap. One of the things about uh, Razor Rock soaps, you can't judge the entire brand of soaps by just one because he has all different sorts of soaps, hard formulas, soft, this, that. He has all sorts of different products, and they're not all uh, the same. So you really have to judge Razor Rock soaps almost on an individual basis, unless it's a soap of the exact same formula. Also, we're going to use again the Game Changer uh, Razor Rock uh, razor, which uh, yesterday I used it, and it was absolutely fantastic. And in my opinion, considerably better for me than the Mamba. So let me wet the face and we'll get going. Stay tuned. All right, and here we go with our Razor Rock Dead Sea soap, which is which has an interesting scent that I cannot describe, but it's it's quite nice. Um, I wish I could uh, tell you or give you some description of what it reminds me of, but it's it's fairly <laughs> unique, at least to my nose. I can't think of anything offhand that it smells like, so. In that sort of situation, you'll have to go to the Italian barber site and, you know, read the description there and see what you think. Because normally I don't parrot back the descriptions from the vendors. Every now and then I'll read from one. But, but generally speaking, I try to give you my thoughts on it and not what the vendor uh, puts down. Because you can certainly go and read that yourself. <clears throat> All right, here we are with the Razor Rock Game Changer, which is indeed more aggressive than the uh, Mamba, and that just feels very nice and smooth for me. The blade on this is Astra SP, which is the Astra in the green uh, boxes. Really nice and smooth. This one, um, I'm quite impressed by. It reminds me a little bit of the... Uh, Timeless bronze. Um, I don't think it's quite as heavy, perhaps, uh, and it's a little more aggressive. I do believe. Very nice. Nice and smooth. That's what you want. Efficient, but smooth. And again, for my money, uh, a lot better for my face in terms of efficiency than the uh, than the Mamba, which I like too, and I have, but. I must tell you, this one will set the mamba down the road when it comes out. And I can say that after just one shave yesterday and portion of a pass today, I just like the way it feels. It just feels right. And you know when a razor just feels right, it just sort of clicks. This again, sort of reminds me of the Timeless Bronze, with that, which I like a lot. It just feels right. And it's the darn near perfect aggressiveness uh, for me. So there's an excellent first pass. Stay tuned. We'll come back for pass two. All right, and here we go. Pass number two. Soap doing a really nice job, as is the razor. And of course, the brush using the uh, Razor Rock um, acrylic handle, black and clear, synthetic, which is really nice and priced right. Um, want to follow up and... and uh, comment on something I said yesterday when I was talking about giving you the, the truth, which I do and always have, um, I didn't mean to apply that other channels don't. What I mean there is on my channel, there is no, I do not subscribe to groupthink of the wet shaving community. That is to say, I'm not on board with everything that is latest and greatest and jumping on band, bandwagons of the latest fad things. Um, so, I'm going to buy something, try it, use it, and let you know what I truly think about it. Um, I'm well beyond the point where I think I need to pursue the next greatest product because the greatest products are already here. Will they make minor improvements over the years? Sure. Sure. Incremental improvements. But by and large, as it applies to software, the stuff has gotten so good, it's, it's hard to distinguish between some of them and hard to give one the you know a leg over the other and certainly when it comes to reform formulations most of the time 
Um, there's <clears throat> just an incremental improvement, if at all. Sometimes there's almost no discernible improvement for me. So you're not going to hear on this channel ranting and raving about, oh, this is the greatest formula of all time, which is like the... And previously I had said the last four formulas were the greatest of all time. I mean, they, you know, if they already have the greatest, it's, it's hard to continually reformulate and make the next one the greatest. Now, that is not to say they won't improve things, because assuredly they will incrementally. So um, <clears throat> what I look is my sort of goal here is bringing the, you the best value for your money and not having you waste your money because for three years you know I bought tons of stuff and tried it and just gave you my thoughts um, and I feel I was somewhat susceptible to formula mania and, and sort of you know getting caught up in the the hype of things and sometimes the hype is, was justified quite frankly sometimes not as you allow yourself to settle in and just use the product and think about it and really evaluate it. You sort of, you sort of get to a spot where you can really tell what's working well for you and what's a product or something that's supposed to be really fantastic is more hyped than not. And so that does exist. There's no question about it. So you have to take those things under advisement. And what a lot of folks don't understand, including myself, I didn't consider some years back, is a lot of viewers don't have the discretionary income just to plop down money for everything. So I look at my charge now is to really try to bring you to the best of my ability, the things that I like. And if you happen to align with my views on product, you tend to favor things that I like, then maybe that'll be beneficial to you. And some folks, you know, don't like that. That's okay. There's plenty of other channels where they'll jump on the latest and greatest and you know, the latest formula and the latest uh, fad, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm just not going to do it. So just, just to make that clear. All right, excellent second pass. Stay tuned. We'll come back to pass three. All right, so this has uh, been a nice, just nice smooth shave. I mean, nothing to complain about, which is really exactly what you want. You don't want it to be tremendously exciting, just nice and smooth, relaxing. That's in part the reason many of us do this. Of course, I can't speak for everyone, and I don't. Um, but this is one of those shaves that just, you know, things click. <clears throat> Feels nice. Aggressiveness on the razor is perfect. Efficiency is perfect. Again, when I speak on things, it's from my perspective. I don't presume to speak for everyone. And, you know, you can take that for what it's worth. You may use these products, and for example, the scent of the Dead Sea may not be for you, and that's okay. You know, it's it's okay not to like things. Um, a lot of people get very sensitive about, you know, products not being liked, or people who think their products are priced too high. Look, we're the consumer. We get to make those calls, and we vote. Uh, um, <coughs> At the end of the day, we vote with our wallet, and I certainly do. I have found that, you know, the days of buying $25 soaps and $30 aftershave is pretty much over for me because I don't see any compelling reason to do so. I don't see a performance reason to do so. The only times that I will do such a thing is if, if it's a scent that I just really love. Um, we've seen a trend where product size in terms of ounces have gone down, price per ounce has gone up. Um, that's not a trend that I favor, personally. However, I'm also cognizant of the fact that these guys have to make a living, and it's probably getting tough. It's probably getting tight, you know, because these soaps last a long time. And so when they were selling eight ounces and so forth, man, it, you know, you're not going to go back and buy another tub of, you know, whatever, at eight ounces if you just got it last year. Most like, unless you only have a few soaps, so I imagine it's gotten tight and, and the artisans and, and vendors need to do things to, you know, put food on the table. So I do not blame them in any way, shape, or form. Do I like 
the trend of the more expensive aftershaves and more expensive soaps? No, I do not. And I, I just don't find a reason, compelling, a compelling reason that is, to buy them. Just not good enough, honestly, because I can buy uh, soaps and aftershaves from, from other vendors for considerably less that do essentially the same thing. And many times as well, and sometimes even better. So, you know, if you went out to buy a, to buy an item and, you know, you see something works extremely well and it's, you know, 10, 20% cheaper than something else, you'll usually buy the 10, 20% cheaper than, than everyone else if, if it works well. And these products do for me. So, I'm, uh, mostly enjoying things in the budget realm these days and I hope that uh, that will save some folks some money and it certainly has been saving me money let me tell you that all right boy this razor has just really been nice all right let me uh, rinse the face we'll come back and do the post stay tuned all right and here we are back with the magic made by witches Thayers, and we will slap it on I'll show you the aftershave, but I'm not going to put it on just yet. Or maybe I will. I will put the aftershave on because I'm going to do a head shave after this. and I'll enjoy the scent of the aftershave during my head shave. This is Razor Rock, the Dead Sea aftershave, which smells just like the soap again. I can't describe the soap. Uh, one of the things I want to remind you of is something my buddy Kerry told me that he learned from me. And I don't know where I heard it. I probably heard it from someone else. Some of these labels are pretty resilient and will handle aftershave being dripped down them. But if you don't want to ruin your label, turn the bottle around and pour out the this side, the non-labeled side. And that way, if you get some product that drips on it, it won't matter. You can just wipe it right off and you can save your label if you're concerned with that. Some people don't care about packaging and labels at all. I do because I use products on video and I want to... Any product that I use, I want to be able to show it and not have the label all banged up and, you know, just respect. I try to take care of my stuff. All right, a quick review of the equipment. Uh, we use the Razor Rock um, acrylic handled brush, black and clear synthetic. It was outstanding. We used the Dead Sea soap, which done a, did, excuse me, a phenomenal job. And the Game Changer head from Radar, from uh, Italian Barber, which is in prototype, and uh, next week I'll send this on to uh, the individual that Joe asked me to send it to for further testing, but I'll, I'll tell you, I don't know that I would change a thing. In fact, I would not change the aggressiveness at all. It is perfect, at least for me, so I hope he doesn't change it, and it works very nicely with this uh, Razor Up Mamba handle. I think he calls it maybe Halo handle or something like that. So uh, I've been very impressed with this for two shaves for what it's worth, but it just feels right. So when I know it, I know it, and that thing is very good for me. Thanks so much, folks, for watching. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB. You are not.